Hello, I'm Scott with Sean's Photography, and today we're going to talk about the paint guns and airbrushes that I use to paint with. First, we're going to start off with the most cheapest one out of the bunch. This here is a Harvard Freight air gun. Um, this is probably 20 something years old, and it's seen a lot of painting. And it still works but again if it didn't I could throw it in the trash can and buy another one they're so cheap this is a k3 is what's the number on it um, I use this for painting large areas so like if I'm gonna latex a large mold I'll spray it in uh, on an open mold painted body suits with this body painted people with this uh, painted cabinets with it um, again Never had an issue. Side fit. One of the most common standards for most um, FX studios and stuff like that is the Pache H. Uh, another one I don't have out here is the VL because I can't find it, but I have a VL too. Um, but the Pache, super easy to clean, um, nice consistent lines because it's a single action uh, airbrush. So basically you adjust your thickness of your line through here. Uh, usually comes with your choice of needles. So this one here is a number three, but you can get a number five. You want a wider sp um, spray pattern. But when I need something with a wider spray pattern and it's smaller, I usually use the VL because I use the number five needle in it and it's a double action and I can control a little bit more uh, for certain things. But this one here is super easy to clean. So if I'm gonna do some um, spots and stuff like that, splattering, this is the one I use. This one here I've had for uh, 30 years, um, or close to 30 years. This is an Iwata HC. Um, my old time favorite airbrush. It looks still brand new. The only thing I've ever had a change in this is a needle and, and the tips. That's it. It has an air regulator here in front. Um, some people might call it a drawback um, is the larger cup. You can get the smaller cup one, but this one here has a larger cup. And the drawback is it could cause a shadow and cause you so you can't see what you're painting. Uh, because of the large cup, but that's about it. Um, has your needle stopper back here so you can't pull back the trigger. Um, I always leave my handles on. A lot of people take their handles off, but I will turn this handle sideways like this because I don't like that drag of that needle across my inside of my hand. So, <clears throat> always turn it sideways uh, compared to most people have it like this and then it's also easy to clean out your clogs um, this one here is another single action um, works amazing small compact it's kind of your choice between this bigger one this one this one it's gravity fed this one is um, vacuum but again works great for what it's what it's made for um always recommend super lube so this is like the nine dollar bottle this is like the thirty dollar bottle uh, always put that on your needle before you go to paint again awesome stuff i love it it's not just a gimmick um i have the little small air compressor airbrush air compressor over here on this rolling cabinet um so it's got a one gallon tank or two gallon tank or something like that whatever it is nice quiet doesn't make any noise i mean it makes noise but it's nothing that's going to disturb your neighbors but one of my favorite new air compressors is the actual california air um that there's a 10 gallon tank and it's as quiet as that little bitty air compressor over there it's it's so much quieter well it's like a hundred times quieter than my old craftsman and that thing is just super quiet 
and uh, I love that air compressor and I don't have to worry about running out of air and the small air compressor you run it for so long then you have to turn it off let it cool down and then turn it back on after a while where this is I can just stay continuously running and plus that is so much better for this airbrush than that little bitty one another thing I want to talk about is when you're doing fine detail these are the um, magnifying glasses that I use this one here has uh, five different lenses in it it has a little light on it thing works great uh, for seeing small details so if you're doing miniatures and stuff like that this is uh, I'd recommend one of these again you can always buy the big magnifying loop light but I find this works amazing and then plus I can flip it up flip it down when I don't want to use it again one thing I always recommend is a lot of light so when all the lights are on in the studio it's super bright and then I also have my desk lights um, on each side of the desk so that I have plenty of light so I don't have any cross shadows or shadows that are blocking me from viewing what I'm painting. Again, these are the airbrushes that I use. I mean, I have a large selection here, but you know, you got your eyewatters and that's what I would recommend. Um, again, these are the airbrushes that I use. My name is Scott with Sean's Photography and thank you for watching.